Hello everyone, welcome to CrossConnect Academy. In today's lesson, we will talk about the patch panel. The cabling management is the key to any cabling system after years of us. Collaborative working usually has a first come, first serve policy, but this can cause huge issues for organizations. So this video will give you some information on patch panels and what they are and how they can help you with your network environment. We'll learn the basic knowledge of it today. What is patch panel and what are patch panel types? So the patch panel is a typical component of structural wiring. The dimensions of a regular patch panel are 1.75 inches tall and which is one rack unit height and it is 19 inches wide. There are two classifications of Ethernet patch panels, one with punch module and another with empty slot for modules like keystone jack or feed-through coupler or multimedia module. Today we will mainly focus on the punch module panel. The panel includes both forward-facing and rear-facing cable routing segments. The forward one connects to the switch, while the rear is for a horizontal links terminating in workstations. And the numbering on the body of the device allows you to easily organize your cable. So the panel needs some spaces to label every destination, which will make it easy to find them during a repair or changes. The panel are classified by various standards. First, by performance. The panel can be classified into CAT6A, CAT6, and CAT5E. Each of them can reach the different frequency. Second, by the number of the ports. The most common one is 24 port, but in some cases it will be 8 port, 16 port, or even 48 port high density depending on the actual need. Third, punching direction. 90 degrees or 180 degrees. You can tell it by the angle between the direction in which the cable is punched down into the panel and the RJ45 port. So the 90 de degree it is the RJ45 port and punch down direction meets vertical and 180 degrees the RJ45 port and punch down direction is horizontal. Fourth, shielded or unshielded. The shielded type are covered with a shielded cover at the rear. At the back, you can also tell if the grounding wires need to be fixed or not. If yes, you will see a symbol like this. And the unshielded type panel are not. That is the easiest way to tell which is it. In the final, is telling the PCB module can be used with 110 or cron type punch down tool but there is also dual module can be used for both 110 and cron tool. So how to choose the right patch panel for your network? As the higher bandwidth application continue to increase, users have to make the right connection component or it may cause your poor speeds. The higher your bandwidth, the more interference will arise inside the twisted pair. Also, if there are machines that produce a lot of EMI in the wiring environment, shielded cable or panels can provide good protection. If bandwidth is of concern and there is not much interference in the cabling environment, it is best to use UTP cable and panel. And what is EMI? The EMI is electromagnetic interference is a disturbance generated by an external source that affects an electrical circuit by electromagnetic induction and it may degrade the performance of the circuit or even stop it from functioning and increase in error rate to a total loss of the data. Thanks for joining us today. That's all for today's lesson. In the next lesson, we will talk about the patch panel installation and hopefully help you avoid the common errors. If you like our video, please give us a like and subscribe our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you can leave your comments below. 
Thank you. Bye-bye.